Um, all right, let's just look ahead to uh, to this Saturday. Okay. Uh, Gary Wallace, I mean, what do we know about them coming into the game? Very athletic team, um, you know, aggressive on the glass, uh, physical team. You know, we're, we're uh, I like to say, you know, we're finesse rebounders. They're aggressive rebounders. So it's, it's contrasting in, in that regard. Um, like to get out and push the ball, get out and transition. Um, got a good guard in Taylor, you know, a good big in, in Brandon Dawson, who's one of the top 15 players in the country in his class. So um, they're a good team. You know, we're going to have to play our best basketball on Saturday. With a, a star player like that, I guess, is it kind of like a Bishop Lewis matchup? Or is, who, who are they most remind you like here around the area? Um, it's difficult to say around the area. I mean, they're, they're uh, almost like a mirror image of ourselves in a way with the, with the way they rebound the basketball. And they're, they're big. You know, they, they have some bigs. Um, but they have that one go-to guy where I feel like, you know, we, we can get it from anybody on any given night. They have that one player, um, you know, that, that can give them to them consistently um, night in and night out. He's, he's not your, 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 your prototypical um, big-time scorer like a Deshaun. Um, He's, uh, he's unselfish in a way. You know, he'll, he'll, he'll distribute the basketball, and he doesn't shoot it quite, quite that well. Um, but he's aggressive on the glass. He gets a lot of his points off the glass, and, and he demands attention. So um, he's going to be someone that we're going to have to key on. And what did you learn about your, your team from last week? Because that was, that was quite a win. Oh, it was. A big-time win. You know, they're resilient. They're a resilient group. They stick together. Um, you know, when, when times are difficult, um, you know, I always tell our guys, you know, how are you going to respond when you're in the trenches taking grenades? And, and you know, you're going to turn on each other. You're going to stick together. And, and they show me that, you know, when times are tough, they can stick with one another and they can really defer um, and let somebody that's got it going on to continue to, to carry us if need be and not be selfish. And, and they were selfless um, in that game, and that was big. And do they know kind of what's on the plate in front of them right now? How special this is? Um, you know, a little bit. They know, you know, it's a special, it's a special opportunity. But um, I don't think, you know, we're necessarily embracing it the way we should be, as far as um, understanding that it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and to make the most out of it. Um, you know, they're very calm and cool. But you no, know, that's part of their demeanor as well. You know, they, they uh, they're gamers, as I like to say. You know, I get on them a lot in practice because I don't think that we put forth the effort. But they do turn it on in the game. So you know, I tell them, you know, if we're not going to give the effort physically, let's make sure that we're giving the effort mentally in practice um, and under understand what's at stake uh, because there are a lot of people pulling for them besides themselves and to let them know that they're playing for more than just themselves and and that's important yeah i mean if you look at games i guess guys always play better when they're relaxed yeah. so i guess could that be a good thing maybe they're not getting tight before this game oh that's huge you know if they, if they play relaxed and they play calm you know the only thing that i don't know i just don't want them to do is to feel like you know if they're too relaxed and they get down well we can always get it back coach and that's not the mentality that we want to have um here uh, one one game away from going to the state finals you know we want to leave it all on the line and come out and, and be aggressive um, and not be so passive. I think sometimes with our guys, when they become relaxed, they become passive, and we don't want that to happen. We want to come out aggressive um, with an aggressive style and, and not, not put ourselves in a position where we have to play from behind. How proud are you of, of your team behind you? Oh, extremely proud. I couldn't be prouder, you know, not just for what we've accomplished on the basketball court, but what we've accomplished in the classroom. Um, this group has, has, has focused more than they ever have in the past, um, and their, their behavior in the hallways has been a lot better. Um, I'm extremely proud of, of the development that they've had as individuals uh, and as basketball players. I always knew the basketball part would, would come naturally as long as they took care of the other stuff, and they've done a tremendous job of doing that. And um, I'm just so impressed with the growth that they made um, as, as, as young men. All right. Anything else you want to add that I'm leaving out right now? Oh, no, no. I think you're good. You know, like I said, you know, we, we always appreciate the coverage that you guys give us. It's important. I know our kids like it, and, and hopefully, uh, you know, we can represent Fort Wayne um, down in state, and, and, and hopefully Carol can do the same as well. Make sure I do it. Bye, right, Antonio Wilson. Okay. Um, well, Antonio, talk about, uh, talk about last weekend. I mean, how, how special was that for you? It was very special to us by winning that game and winning everything and by playing hard. I mean, going into that game, uh, obviously you guys knew Wawasi was a high-scoring, good-shooting team, but, uh, man, they really threw everything at you. <laughs> yeah, they did. They hit 19 threes on us, and couldn't do nothing about it, especially that freshman. They had, they got a pretty, pretty good freshman. What did you guys learn about that game? Uh, like Coach was saying, I mean, even though you guys won the game, there were some things that you guys could probably improve on. What do you think you can improve on going into this weekend? By getting through screens, double screens, and not go over them, go under them. So talk about it. I mean, how special is it for you as a player? You're going to be playing for a semi-state title this weekend. Yeah, I, feel, I feel good playing to make this school a state champion again. And obviously, what do you know about uh, Gary Wallace going into this game? Uh, they got a 6'6 player. He ranked in the country. You going to go up against him? Yeah. All right, talk about that matchup. Uh, you, you... I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. I get to go up with another junior that's about my size. What's it mean to... Uh, I mean, obviously you knew there was a lot riding on this season after what's going on with the school and everything. What's it mean for you as a player? I mean, because you're not just playing for your team right now. Yeah, I'm playing for my team and the school. Trying to keep the school open as long as it, 
can, possibly can. So coming into Saturday, I mean, none of you guys have been to the stage before. What are you kind of expecting for the game? Uh, everything, momentum and getting the crowd into it and playing through everything we do. Do you guys kind of know what opportunities in front of you right now? Nah, not really. I mean, there are, you're only you're in the final four right now. Yeah. I mean, there's only four teams in each class left in the state. So I mean, what does that what does that mean for for a player? I mean, look back to the beginning of the year and see how far you guys have come. What's that mean? I mean, a lot to us because we came very far, to get here, work very hard, practice. And this, uh, you're just one step away now. Yeah. And that's what everybody dreams of is playing for a state title. So, what's the mentality going into Saturday's game? Uh, everything. Mentality. Eyes are playing hard and not getting into anything with them. Are you guys nervous at all? Uh, a little bit. I am. So, how do you kind of deal with that? Um, what gets you ready for the game? Uh, by listening to music and getting relaxed before the game. All right. Well, what are you looking forward to most then come Saturday? To win. Dywan Perry, D-Y-W, U-A-N, P-R-Y. Okay, your class and uh, positions you play? Uh, I play a guard position. I'm a senior this year. All right, so a uh, pretty special season for you guys this year. Talk about... Uh, Talk about last weekend. What was that like? Uh, it was a fun experience. experience. Uh, we went down there and knowing we had to play hard to beat, to get the, beat, beat the regional champions or whatnot. And that's what our focus was last week. Were you surprised at all how many threes they were taking and making? Yeah, I was very surprised. I didn't know they could shoot lights out like that. They were a pretty good shooting team. What's that say for you guys? I mean, they're shooting lights out, but yet you guys still kind of walk away with a three-point win. We've been through a lot of adversity this year, so we just had to fight through it and go and try to win the game. Now, what did you guys learn from that game that maybe you, you can use this weekend? Uh, we we got to play hard every minute. We can't let nobody get no open shots. Be Play hard. That's our main goal is to play hard. When you look back to the... Uh, the beginning of the year kind of you guys are just getting started you know who the players are on your team did you guys did you ever think you'd be playing for a semi-state title uh, that was our goal to get to, our goal was to get to state or whatnot and uh, that's what we've been working for achieving to and uh, i'm not really surprised that's what i was trying to do for my senior year yeah what's it mean as a senior i mean you're in the final four right now it means a lot to me man because we were 17 no our freshman year or whatnot and so, man, we was trying to prove that that wasn't a fluke or whatnot and get back to where we need to be. So what do you know about uh, Gary Wallace coming in here from the region? I don't know that much about him. I heard they're a pretty good, decent team or whatnot. We just play out and go out and play hard. Does it affect you guys at all that really nobody on this team has been on this type of a stage before this late in the postseason? Uh, not really that much, but it would be a new adversity to us or whatnot. But we still got to go out and play hard. What do you guys, what's the mentality like going into the game, uh, knowing that uh, you got a lot riding on this game? Uh, everybody's talking about how our school, we're trying to keep the spotlight on our school or whatnot, and so we're just trying to keep it as long as we can. What would it mean to take that final step and, and secure a semi-state title this weekend? It would feel real great. That means we won game, we won game away from uh, state, and then that's our next goal.